district is in a unique position. Delegate Eleanor Holmes Norton, the district's sole representative in Congress, said she's worried that if Republicans take control of Congress, they may try to ban abortion in D.C. if Roe is overturned. So let's verify. Does Congress have the power to change D.C. abortion laws? We went to these three experts who say this is a complicated legal question. Generally speaking, Congress can pass federal legislation which would set policy in D.C. It's spelled out in the Home Rule Act of 1973. Constitutionally, uh, Congress controls all legislative authority within the, the district. So it's this weird place of having its semi-independent citizens, while also Congress and members from Maine to Florida deciding a lot of what gets done. But our experts agree this would not be an easy lift. To pass a bill, Congress would need 60 votes in the Senate to overpower a filibuster. Plus, our experts say an act to go as far as to ban abortion would face major legal challenges. This court would be forced to deal with the um, discrepancy between what they are saying should be a state's rights issue as opposed to a federal issue and then suddenly upholding any form of federal legislation. An easier path for Congress would be to go through budget riders, which has been done before. Since they oversee the D.C. budget, they can restrict the amount of funds that would go to abortions in D.C. So we can verify that generally the answer is yes, Congress can pass laws for the District of Columbia. But whether there's the political will or the legal precedent to ban abortion in D.C. remains a very big question mark. With your Verify, I'm Evan Kozloff.